students in last class we have discussed different types of uh, or uh, production of polarized light uh, using different types of techniques okay well, uh, one in one technique was polarization by reflection refraction then polarization by scattering then we have to discuss polarization by double reflection okay the mean by we, we were discussing about the polarizer or polarization by uh, dichroism or uh, polarization by selective absorption method we were discussing okay uh, during uh, i have told you that time polarizer means what is polarizer means it is a device okay it is a device which transforms unpolarized light uh, unpolarized light into polarized light okay uh, here you can see suppose this is our polarizer polarizer it is available in when uh, natural polarizer is available the crystals like tourmaline uh, quartz etc uh, it is a natural polarizer then artificially also we are making polarizer that is called actually polaroids polaroids are the artificially making uh, polarizer okay polaroids are made that I, in last class we have discussed polarizers are actually it is a long polymer chain of um, polymers like the pva that means polyvinyl alcohol uh, then into the, into this polymer chain we are dumping iodine like uh, I do like elements so that it uh, gives what uh, extra electrons to the chain. Okay, then this electro, this uh, the presence of this extra electrons actually induces the conductivity of that material. Due to the conductivity or due to the uh, electron vibrations, what actually happen happening is uh, when uh, our unpolarized light contains what perpendicular polarization and the parallel polarization this is perpendicular then per, this is perpendicular polarization this is our direction of our what direction of the light then uh, this is uh, parallel polarization okay so uh, suppose our material or uh, in a, uh, polymer chains are arranged in such a in a particular direction and uh, this electrons by doping this iodine this electrons also are, are also arranged in between this polymer chain okay in a particular direction that is important in a particular direction so when electrons are vibrating with some frequency when our unpolarized light enters into that material then the vibration parallel to the uh, uh, this electric the electric field vibration parallel to the electronic vibration in the material will be absorbed okay suppose electrons are vibrating in this direction in the material and our uh, unpolarized light contains the vibration uh, in the same direction then uh, as it passes through the material then it is getting absorbed that's what actually is happening in polaroids or polarizer simple in simply it is polarizer but we are um, we are uh, making or artificially made polarizer as polarizers are usually called polaroids okay uh, that's what that is actually it is what eliminating one of the polarization when it passes through the material but it the thing is only some one particular direction of the material allows this polarization like uh, only this particular suppose this is our material and when it unpolarized light passes through this material okay in this direction okay i have cut the material in this direction so it is observed that the only parallel polarization uh, is uh, found after the after passing through the material so this perpendicular polarization is eliminated here the electronic vibration may be in the perpendicular direction that's why it is uh, completely absorbed by the material okay that's what happening in um, what in, in polarizer so this pass axis well, that is the direction through which the uh, light passes allows the uh, our incident light to pass that direction is called transmission axis of the polarizer okay
okay that is very important so the polarization or vibration parallel to the transmission axis is only passes through the our material okay that is important transmission axis nu parnala edana nammude unpolarized light kadathi vidumbo okay ed polarization aano end edathu pass edu pogum transmit cheyidu pogunnathu the our direction aanu nammude endu parayunnathu transmission axis of the polarizer nu parayunnathu correct transmission axis perpendicular polarization will be completely eliminated perpendicular to the perpendicular polarization means uh, actually here perpendicular to the transmission axis actually that polarization is come uh, polarization is completely eliminated or completely absorbed by the polarization so important thing is transmission axis of the main material okay only one particular direction only that uh, they our uh, it passes the um, what our unpolarized light okay yeah. suppose somebody asks suppose if i rotate our polarization in some direction okay okay this is the transmission axis it's still uh, if i rotate this polarizer through some angle so suppose our transmission angle becomes what uh, transmission axis direction of the transmission uh, transmission axis becomes like this like 
equations like this. Okay? Then, you know, this is our transmission axis. What I told is any electric field component parallel to the transmission axis will pass the polar, uh, pass the light. Okay? Uh, pass through the um, polarizer. So, so I can still I can show you if our uh, electric field line is like this. Okay? This is our electric field vibration. It is like this. Still there is one component. Right? Some one component. That is E cos theta. Right? E cos theta. E cos theta will there this is our suppose this is our uh, electric field vibration. So a sub E cos theta or component of E along the transmission axis is possible. So actually this polarizer will pass that component that because that is parallel to the a transmission axis understood. This suppose our vibration. Electric field vibration is like this. Like this. Okay? Like this. Okay? Still what there will be some component. Electric field uh, component of the electric field is along the in our transmission axis. Okay? So that will be transmitted. So any car, any electric field vector can be splitted along the transmission axis and is perpendicular to the transmission axis. Okay, right. So this can be again splitted into that. Uh, into. So we, you here you will get because this is what unpolarized light. In unpolarized light, any type of what electric field component is available. That is important. If it is not unpolarized light, you can also say like this. Okay? Anyway, so you will get, so the output will be, okay? The output will be, here the output will be, what? The polarization, this is our, what, uh, pass axis will be parallel to the, what, transmission axis. Still you have that polarized light, but it is polarized along some direct, uh, some particular direction. Understood? This is very important. There are so many problems in connection, in connection with this. Okay? Still. So, if I pass unpolarized light to a polarizer, then if you rotate polarizer in any direction, okay, you will get what? You will get polarized light here. But direction of polarization is different. Okay. Still you can see the light. Okay. This is important. This is because this is our input light is what our input light is for unpolarized light. Okay. Now, next one is, okay. Next two is if my input light is what polarized light. Okay, our input light is polarized light. Only this component is existing. Now this, this component is existing. Okay, then same uh, arrangement of our polarizer. Our polarizer is kept like this. Our transmission axis is like this. Okay, then you can see, I told you. Only the component, this is our electric field vector, okay, the com only the component, this is our transmission axis, so our vibration will be like this, okay, this is our electric field, uh, I just, uh, the same thing I just draw here, so this is our electric field component, so um, a component of the electric field along the transmission axis, transmission Axis or pass axis, transmission axis. So only the component that means E cos theta. Suppose the plane of this is called a plane of vibration or plane of polarization. This is by a particular whatever the plane that this here it is the plane of polarization is like this. Okay. Suppose the plane of vibration and transmission axis make 
an angle theta then the only the cos component of the electric field will pass through the material pass through the polarizer so e cos theta but we know intensity of the electric field is proportional to what uh, square of the electric field that is e suppose this is e zero okay. no it's okay fine e zero square cos square theta okay this is suppose e zero square is this is cos square theta this is cos square theta in that set so that is i is equal to i zero cos square theta where the remember where theta is the angle between the plane of vibration and the transmission axis so actually a malus the scientist malus who observed the a variation of intensity through the polarizer where it is rotating with the a uh, what uh, where it is the transmission axis of the polarizer rotating with the plane of vibration the plane of vibration transmission axis so tamil la angle change ibo and the intensity varies observe that intensity varies like uh, or it is intensity is proportional to the square of the angle between the transmission axis and the plane of vibration so when theta is equal to zero that means theta is equal to zero on transmission axis and the uh, plane of uh, vibration the vibration of electric field is parallel means theta is equal to zero maximum intensity you will get outside okay when theta is equal to 90 degree remember when theta is equal to 90 degree means what this is our plane of vibration this is our plane of vibration transmission axis will be like this transmission axis will be like this this is our electric field this is 90 degree e cos 90 what zero so you won't get any light after or any intensity after pass, uh, after passing through the um, polarizer because that means if you keep like this okay keep like this you want vibration to be like this transmission axis will be like this then you won't get any light after the uh, polarizer so again you rotate the what uh, again you rotate the polarizer so again you will get at uh, theta is equal to 270 degree mm. see Of 
stop because it is always whatever the trans if you rotate the transmission axis in this plane, then if you uh, this uh, what uh, this is perpendicular direction vibration is per along perpendicular direction, so it is always perpendicular to this transmission. You won't get any light. Okay. Another thing, this is this condition not condition this observation or. Uh, uh, that is where the intensity of light passing through the polarizer is found to be the it is the proportional to the square of the, the angle between the transmission axis or pass axis on the plane of vibration uh, vibration. So I is I is equal to I0 cos square theta actually I0 cos square uh, E0 actually let me fill this our vector so that is Input light, the plane of vibration. This is our polarizer. 
I have I am I am not taking this transmission access. Initially it was uh, what uh, initially the condition was with the all you know the all the uh, vibrations are parallel to the transmission access. So that will be passes through the uh, what our polarization polarization. Now okay that is our case. Uh, then what what I am doing next is I am taking this polarizer through an angle theta. Means transmission axis becomes like this. Okay, I just want to draw. This is our transmission axis. Transmission axis. Still our vibration. Electric field vibration is like this. Okay, this is our transmission axis. Now I said what any vibrations. Uh, any vector can be split into two in a plane. Okay, so e the component of e. Suppose this is our theta. Then e cos theta will be along this direction. E sin theta will be along what perpendicular direction of the transmission axis. That what contribute anything. Okay, that is perpendicular to the transmission axis. That what passes uh, or that what transmit through the um, polarized. Only the e cos theta component that is parallel to the our transmission axis. So I can say uh, after passing through the polarizer, uh, then you will get electric field e cos theta. Okay. Then our this is our initially e zero. Say this initially e zero. Then uh, intensity will be e zero square. I say i zero cos square theta. Okay. This is our Mohr's law. I I have explained. Okay, uh, this is our Mohr's law that the intensity is proportional to cos square theta. Uh, the theta is the angle between the uh, plane of polarization and the transmission axis of the polarizer. This is our Mohr's law. That is electric field. Uh, electric field along the direction of transmission axis will passes through the metal polarizer. That much we know. Now the question is. Here the input slide is polarized, polarized. Okay. Now the question is, I am giving unpolarized light with the intensity I zero, but which is passing through the polarizer P. So then what will be the intensity of the pass? So this is our electric field vibration that is polarized, polarization, uh, unpolarized light to the passage. So I can say, suppose this is our transmission axis. Okay, this is our transmission axis. It is perfect. The transmission axis. So any component, say any component, any any electric field vector. This is our electric field vector, which uh, this main angle theta will be the what transmission axis. Then E cos theta will. Contribute for passing the uh, light. Okay, then this is suppose this is our vibration. So this angle say theta one, then e two, e two cos theta will contribute. Okay, uh, e e two voltage. This is our amplitude. Amplitude will be same. E cos theta will e cos theta plus e cos theta one. Okay, along transmission axis. Suppose so this is so this is. Then E cos theta three will be called. So any particular component cos ninety one point. Still, you can say the component of electric field along the transmission axis will passes through the uh, polarizer. That's okay. So if I take one component and change the small.
If you calculate one plus cos infinity change, so it doesn't matter. So if it is sign also, it won't make any difference. So I need to forget. So what we see that the zero to two by one plus cos infinity, this is okay. And the other zero to two by okay one by two. One by two again, it is I zero to two if I take outside. Then four pi one by two. Then d theta. Okay. Plus integral zero to two pi cos two theta d theta. Okay. And right. So this part by integrate that we know integral zero to pi two cos two theta or sine two theta or sine theta cos theta it will be. Zero. Okay, this will become two pi. So right. So the answer will be what? N is equal to I zero. Understood? Zero to two pi. D theta is equal to two pi. Two pi by two pi. I am cancelling. That is only two. I zero by two. You will get I zero by two. Remember when? I is equal to what? I zero by two. Okay. I zero by two. Okay. So remember, if our unpolarized light has intensity I zero, then only after passing, and if it is unpolarized light, the intensity reduced to I zero by two after passing through the what? Uh, polarizer. Remember, in all the problems, it is we need this uh, this condition, okay? Because I zero becomes I zero by two if it is unpolarized. But polarized light, it is okay. I is equal to I zero cos square theta. Depends on the angle between. Okay. So this much you know, I zero is equal to I zero. I zero uh, becomes I zero by two after passing through the transmission axis. After passing through the polarizer, so it's okay actually. Here you can see I have represented perpendicular polarization, parallel polarization. Actually, what is happening? I zero is the intensity due to this perpendicular polarization and parallel polarization. So actually, this polarizer passes only per parallel polarization. So all the vibration perpendicular is eliminated. So it will. Half. It is very easy. So even if we, our even if we rotate this what uh, polarizer to an angle theta, then I told you this can be represented by vectors in a plane. Then uh, then the <coughs> trans uh, component of electric field along the uh, transmission axis will be passes through. Okay. Then uh, perpendicular component cannot passes through. So in any cases, only half of the uh, intensity will be passed. This is important. That's why again I am saying. So the, in this class, uh, this class I am winding up. So um, next part is uh, there are another method is also the for producing polarized light from the unpolarized light that is due to double refraction. 
that we will discuss in next class okay then this is a another one more thing here this is a principle for polaroids polaroids uh, you know we are in use our sun glasses and uh, front glasses of the vehicles and the swimming class in uh, there are many applications for polaroids that you find out how it works okay what is the advantage using uh, polaroids polarized uh, polaroids polaroid glasses instead of our plain glasses that you have to find out that i am giving as a nasayat okay so today uh, i am going to wind up okay i hope you understood if uh, if you are if you are having any doubt or something please uh, whatsapp or please call me and uh, we will discuss if you have any confusion or